Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really means the world to me and I hope more people can learn from the video. Hello, this is Quinta. I'm using my real voice to uh, to give you a, a new tutorial series. And this series is going to be about um, Flutter and a uh, Flutter app. And it's called Play Store Clone. Yeah, and just like how the name suggests, it will be an app uh, which, which looks like the Play Store and and we'll see how we can build it and here I have built an example of the app and as you can see the whole thing really looks like uh, it really resembles the Play Store app and you can swipe for the app and this for now I only have built the front end and you can take a look at here it here there are some tabs right here and there is also the search bar where you can search for app yeah my laptop is kind of laggy right now but yeah I can search as you can see there's nothing right now but if I type Microsoft yeah there's an there's a list of app right here but right now we are not using any backend but I will figure about that later but for now we'll be focusing on the front end first yeah and this download page and other than this there's nothing much but we will use Firebase for the backend afterwards and for now we will just focus on uh, using Flutter for the front end. Yeah. So without further ado, let's just dive right in into how we are going to this whole thing okay oops okay and this series for every episode it will be about 15 minutes long and I maybe I'll update like every week if I have time because I'm still studying right now so oh so next so I hope you could subscribe too if you wouldn't mind and the project name maybe I will name it like clone. Just leave it like that. Okay. Clone. So give it a second. Sorry. Wait. So we'll take a look at the main this should be project go to lib take a look at the main yeah this is the main but we don't need all of this let me see maybe we just we'll just delete off this yeah. okay great so we will need to create a new folder new directory okay uh, we will need one called pages another one called constants which will, uh, it will be consi it will be consisting of the app list because currently we are not using any backend I mean some like like some dummy data and yeah we need services 
for the app class, but we will, we will take a look at that later. So now um, we will do S T L E S S stateless. Okay, there is a shortcut for the stateless widget. Call it my app corresponding to this. And yeah, we need we will need to use material app if we want to use routes. And routes are like different pages. Yeah, I will, let's see here. Um, which route means whenever we start our app, it will be here first. And uh, routes, okay. Slash, okay. This is the initial route. And it will take a function with context as the parameter. Parameter, yeah. So we will return home. But currently, we don't have home yet. So it shows an error. I need to import. Yeah, we don't have the home yet. So we need to create a new, a new dot file called home. Home. Um, sorry, wait. Should be, let me delete this. Wait. New. Make sure you press that file, call it home. Okay, so go back to that. the main dot that we can actually import it. Oh, sorry, home dot dot. It should be. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Slash page slash not that and import other material that and use the shortcut state it should be state full because it is constantly fetching new data so get home call it home yeah now it should work no more errors but I think it should, we should leave it here like that first. Now we'll start uh, to make the, what you call that, the home page. Yeah. So first, 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 what should we do? We need to create the tags, the tag names. Yeah, uh, these for the tag names. First is for you, which is really like the Play Store Top charts. Children. Categories. Editors. Choice. This thing right here, we are actually trying to escape this, this, what I call this, speech mark, yeah, the code mark, whatever. So if you do it like that, it's not going to work, we need to do it like this. Okay. So don't forget the semicolon. Okay. So first and foremost, turn safe area. So in that it it does not include the notification bar how container another child input tab controller then would be five or you could just do length tab names dot length Output. Uh, let me see. Bar. We just leave it like that. Add bar. And this is where all the tabs go. This is how the magic works for the tab. Tab bar view. Children means all the tabs. 
in like single child scroll view so you can actually scroll the tab like all the tabs you can scroll I right, don't mind I will show it afterwards go away single ch single child scroll wheel is actually I don't mind we'll forget about that first we'll just do we'll just fix the tab first yeah let me see here we should do it here okay bottom uh, scrollable through so we can just screw it whole tab the whole tab bar uh, tabs would be Names, map, name. App. How is text name style style? Colors, color, colors. Great, great. Problem right here. Let me see. Yeah, there should be. We are missing something here. To this. Don't you work? Okay. Yeah, same column. Okay. Now we have finished tab this right this thing right here it is the actual thing the page the page whenever we like for example if we tap on for you it's usually for you corresponding to the index for example for you is number zero that will look for the element zero in the list for now don't worry about that yeah so i guess let's see how long is the video yeah, around eight minutes Mate, never mind. I will build this and see. We will take a look at the tab right now. Where is the? Oh, sorry. Open. You know why we have it here? Just go play and see if there is any error. This is the previous one, eh? So yeah, we will just wait. It will take a lot of time because my laptop isn't that good. And there's an error right here, so I guess we need to fix it. So basically, it means that we are not giving the control the controller's length property does not match the number of tabs. So there are five tab names here, but unfortunately, we only we throw we threw nothing into the children. So well, maybe we need to like add a few. I think maybe we will first. Containers, we five containers. It's lagging very badly. Very sorry. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. Now let's run again. It's empty, but we will fill it up afterwards. Definitely not now, cause. The video is getting longer and longer. Okay, yeah. Hot reload. Hot reload basically means every time we uh we save, it will run. Another thing is hot restart. 
which means it runs the whole thing again. It's very, very, very slow. But here I think we can make it white because in Play Store it is white. Very, very slow. And that works, but let's make it white first. Great, now it works. See, you can scroll through it as well. But for now, it is only the tab. Okay, so in the next video, we'll try to uh, add something add some app details into the first container which is for you and thanks for watching and i hope my voice isn't that bad because it's really my first time recording using my own voice and yeah i guess that's all and thanks for watching and stay tuned stay safe